The purpose of this short 10 minute video is to assist you in understanding how the present paradigm of self-evolution has emerged, what it had emerged from, and what it will be returning to once again. For the present paradigm of self-evolution, which many refer to as reincarnation, souls were conceived within duality from the unified field of time and space and were in a pure state of Merkaba. They were able to act for themselves within space and time and also to return their awareness into the one space where all time lies before them. Approximately 320 billion years ago, a soul called Open begat another soul known as Panabhib. Panabhib was not told that Open was the one who had begotten him. Panabhib did not know how he came into time and space. Open did not claim him as his own offspring because he had created Panabhib against a certain convention. And as such, he brought Panabhib to this region of the self. From Panabhib, Panabhib had created over 90 billion offspring that are known to Judeo-Christians as angels. The angels are actually offspring of those which Judeo-Christians term as archangels. Although it has not been known within the self that these angels were begotten by open until recent months. Some of these angels formed a new paradigm of evolving by begetting offspring in the same way Panopiv was begotten by open. But instead of giving those offspring eternal life, embodied those offspring into denser realms of the fourth and the third dimension on four planets on the YouTube channel Freedom of the Soul on the playlist videos entitled Creating a New Heaven and Earth. This paradigm that many term as reincarnation is discussed in more detail. Approximately 69 million years ago, 17 of the angel offspring of Panabhib that had come from open, unbeknownst to them, had begun to create offspring and embody them in a world that we term as one from the Andromeda Galaxy. I was told that at this current moment in time there are 21 billion soul offspring that have come from these 17 angel oversouls. And these offspring are embodied in a realm that we would term to be the fourth dimension. There are also fifth dimensional embodiments of these 29 billion that reside in higher realms of this world in Andromeda that guide the reincarnation cycles of that world in the fourth dimension. Approximately 47 million years ago, another 23 of the offspring of Panopid began to do the same practice of that which was being done by the 17 in the Andromeda Galaxy. They began to embody their offspring in the lower realms of a planet on the Milky Way that they refer to as Raif. Many that channel refer to this group as reptilians. They embody a more subtle realm than that which is on Earth, which is termed the fourth dimension. And after their fourth dimensional embodiments are released, they are returned to the fifth dimension and are encouraged by the 23 to perpetuate this paradigm by embodying more of their offspring into the fourth dimension. There are three subgroups on the planet of Arif. One is called Roejepui, another is Feb, and another is Oajepibrin. Approximately 32 million years ago, an additional 19 offspring from Panapib had begun to practice the same that was done in Raif and in the Andromeda Galaxy. They have inhabited on the fourth dimension in a world that is near the, what we term as Pallades in the Milky Way. It is near what I have been told is the star of Merope. Currently, there are 39 billion soul offspring that reside within these realms on both the fourth and the fifth dimensions. The fourth dimension are the Pallades that are embodied in the more subtle realm than what we experience here in the third. And the fifth dimensional offspring are those who had once been embodied and had returned to the fifth dimensions after their embodiment was released and perpetuated the same paradigm of the 19 oversouls of this group. Out of all of the planets where reincarnation has been practiced by these angel oversouls of Phanaphib, Earth is the most unique and the newest. It is where the three groups of those from Pallades, Raif, and Andromeda mixed. Here in the densest realm of embodiment known as the third dimension, it is also the only of the four planets that contains third dimensional embodiments. Twenty-two angel oversouls that are referred to as Ujians 
joined these other three groups 3,300 years ago, and from them another 25 billion soul offspring have been created, both in the third and the fourth dimensional embodiments on this planet. All groups mix in the third dimension on the planet Earth, but not in any of the subtler planes of embodiment. I was told over this past week some additional information regarding Angel Oversouls. I had not inquired about the group of Raif and did not know about it before. But I have been told this week that there are actually 81 and 5 no longer participate in the paradigm of reincarnating offspring into denser realms. I was told at present that there are, if you add all of the fourth dimensional embodiments and the third dimensional embodiments here on Earth, and all of the offspring that exist in the fifth dimension who were once embodied but are in groups in the higher planes that perpetuate this cycle of reincarnation under the 81 Oversouls, that there are presently 107 billion soul offspring from the 81. Remember that the 81 are offspring that were derived from Panabhib, who is an offspring of an archangel. And these 81 have informed me that they did not know this was the case, as Panabhib had not known this until recent months within time and space. There are, out of the 107 billion soul offspring that are in this reincarnation matrix of the what some channelers refer to the Galactic Federation of these four planets, 58 billion fifth dimensional embodiments of offspring that are again those that work in higher groups and have once been embodied return to the higher realms and are told by the 81 to perpetuate this paradigm by creating more offspring and sending them down as what they call quote unquote incarnations. Right now there are 42.5 billion offspring that are in what we would term the fourth dimension, the more subtler dimensions, yet these offspring are embodied. That would be on the planets of Andromeda, Pallades, here on Earth, and in Raif. The only planet that has third dimensional embodiments is here on Earth, and this is also the planet where all four groups mix in this third dimensional realm. And there are 6.5 billion offspring here, embodied in the third dimension. I was told that they did not know until a, f a couple of months ago relative to Earth time that Panabhib had been an offspring of Open. This is something that all those who had come from Panabhib had never known before. They were familiar with Open, considered him to be a different type of an angel, or what we in Judeo-Christian terms would refer to as an archangel, but they did not know they were opens offspring. This has been made known to them and in such they also realize that they too can become aware of the continuous state of Merkaba within time and space and that embodying offspring into lower realms of the fourth and third dimension is not necessary but only bringing pain and suffering to the one self that we all share beyond time and space. As such opens children with this 2012 shift which include all that are embodied in the third and fourth and all those in the fifth dimension on this region of time and space are going to return to the region where open and those who created open are from. This will happen after the shift has culminated in 2012. All those that are embodied in fourth and third dimensional embodiments will have those embodiments shed. This was not going to happen before. Before they were trying to preserve these embodiments and help them to make it through the shift through manipulating DNA. But as they've just become aware of this and who they are and what they can become, they are going to give up this paradigm and return to the primal paradigm of which is followed by open and those from which we had come from billions of years ago. I was told that Open's region of time and space is approximately the distance of 3,000 galaxies away from the Milky Way, and that there are currently approximately 1,600 billion archangelic souls that are like Open, and we are going to go home after this shift is complete. After this shift is complete, I was told that all of those who were embodied on either the fifth, the, the fourth, or the third dimension on Earth in Raif, the Reptilians, and those in Pallades, and those in Andromeda, all 107 billion from all four planets, are going to inhabit in the fifth dimensional embodiment of the natural state of the soul, a world where we can create forever like those of which we come from, from open. In this state, there will be no reincarnation, there will be one world, and all souls will forever create in the state of Merkaba, knowing that they are one with what they touch and see outside of